Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the Euro Aussie dollar. So we've had a look at this one before about potential reversals, but now um, we've got some more indications that we actually may have seen a breakout and potential good risk reward uh, trade forming on this pair. So a couple of macro background factors that are important to note is that we are awaiting the central bank in Australia or the Reserve Bank of Australia, RBA's um, interest rate decision that is due to come out a little bit later today. And that today is, of course, the 6th of December 2022. So let's just be weary of that, which may sway the strength of the currency. But what we will do is we'll just have a look again at um, our long term, more long term prospects. And as we've established previously, we're in a long term kind of ranging pattern. And get rid of this um, and as we can see we've got the bottom of the range at about 1.16 um, and that's a real like kind of a decade low then we've had these lows um, at 1.43 which we've bounced off and as we've sp spoken about previously we've got a double bottom just over here that has been broken and now we're looking specifically at this part here potential breakout um, potentially to the upside we're still jumping between the 200 week average and the 50 week average although we are kind of in between those channels and as we can see we're supported by the rsi which has also got a double bottom pattern and a quite a similar um, pattern to the actual price itself with a potential breakout here as well to the over over um, overbought territory so that's our longer term kind of prospects with short term targets at 1.63, 1.64, we'll just put those in. And then of course at 1.68. So those are our kind of shorter term targets. We'll get rid of those drawings just to make it a little bit clearer. And now we're gonna have a look at the daily for an actual entry or um, risk pro proper trading option. So as we saw before, we've got this kind of we've got this kind of cons consolidation happening here, which is a really good sign. And it's happened. We, what we saw is we bounced off this neckline of the double bottom. As we can see, we got this double bottom here, acting as this consolidation before the next breakout. We've got a surge of volume over here at the bottom, which indicates that, you know, we are just ready to break out of this kind of consolidation. Could almost like a middle, uh, a small base. And the other way we could look at it, which we've done previously, is we've actually looked at it as though it's almost like a little bit of a wedge or a triangle formed here, like this, and we've broken out. So the question remains, well, okay, Where's our next target? And as I've said, we've got a target at 1.63, which doesn't give the best risk reward, um, especially from here, but it is worth keeping an eye on. The alternative is to actually say, okay, well, we don't think it's gonna come back and test this level. What we could do is we could put it just below that prior breakout candle, which gives us a two to one. Um, or we could wait for it to come back and retest and then try again, which would give us an almost three to one risk return. You know, we may be waiting for something along the lines of something like this, or we may um, just see it kind of come back and then break out. And then of course we've got these next targets as well, but definitely a reversal in the Euro Aussie. Um, and again, let's just be weary of the um, RBA's decision on interest rates that will be coming out later today, because uh, if they come out harder than expected, it may um, invalidate the strategy and cause a lot of um, strength to the Aussie, to, which would obviously weaken this pair, or vice versa, which may allow the Euro Aussie to explode and break out properly. But there you go, guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Good luck trading.